This bill allocates $7.9 million each year to create a dairy innovation hub at UW-Madison, UW-River Falls, and UW-Platteville to reprioritize and restore focus on dairy innovation in Wisconsin. This idea is the direct result of the hard work of Dairy Task Force 2.0, which was revived by Governor Scott Walker in June 2018 to maintain a viable and profitable dairy industry in Wisconsin. The Dairy Innovation Hub idea is one of the top recommendations by this task force, which is made up of farmers, milk processors and marketers, allied organization, legislators, and university leadership. The Dairy Innovation Hub Bill appropriates $7.9 million to fund a Dairy Innovation Hub at Madison, UW Platteville, and River Falls. This investment represents less than 0.02% of Wisconsin's dairy industry. UW Madison will receive 52% of these funds, while Platteville and River Falls will each receive 24%. The goal of this investment is to attract and support world-class researchers to lead focused research in four sectors. Number one, steward land and water resources. Two, enrich human health and nutrition. Three, ensure animal health and welfare. And four, grow farm businesses and communities. It is important to point out that the Dairy Innovation Hub is not about increasing production. We already do a good job of that. Instead, we will be dedicating the same caliber of effort, research, and innovation as we have given to production to new priorities. Dairy Innovation Hub research will address water quality issues, develop new and unique dairy products, examine new non-food uses for dairy products, apply dairy research to real-life issues, open new markets for Wisconsin dairy products and actively deploy research discoveries to the dairy industry. Each campus will be given flexibility to use the funding in their own way to achieve the goals of the Dairy Innovation Hub. This can include hiring faculty and staff researchers, empowering students to conduct research, and providing support for research facilities and infrastructure. Overall, I'm confident that these recommendations from the Dairy Task Force 2.0 is a strong, powerful step toward real results that will help the dairy industry and agriculture overall. Last week, the Joint Finance Committee, in which I serve, concluded its public hearings around the state. At every public hearing that we held around the state, we heard requests to include the Dairy Innovation Hub in the budget. I'd now like to introduce representative and dairy farmer, Travis Trannell. Travis is the assembly author of the Dairy Innovation Hub, and he will make a few remarks. Thank you, and thank you for being here today. I would like to start out by uh, thanking Senator Mark Klein and uh, both of our staffs for the work that they've put uh, into this Innovation Hub. Uh, it's a perfect day to be in the Capitol because it's raining outside so we can't be active on our farm so also a good job on that. I wish we were gathered uh, under better circumstances in terms of where we are currently at uh, as a dairy industry. Obviously dairy prices are at uh, historic lows. They have uh, reached a peak in 2014 and unfortunately uh, dairy has been break even at best since then. So farmers are used to going through ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, but not used to uh, losing money for five years in a row. And I often think, uh, unfortunately, as fewer and fewer members of our society farm, uh, less than 2% of us now are producing the food for the other 98%, it's hard for most people to wrap their head around that. But I challenge you to envision any other industry where they go through five consecutive years of uh, being able to break even at best, and in a lot of cases, losing money. Uh, it's why we're losing farms at a rapid rate. And when you look at agriculture in the state of Wisconsin overall, an $88 billion industry, roughly half of that dairy, uh, it's very concerning. So when 
we are out and about talking to our constituents and they're asking us what we want to do, I think it's very important that we as policymakers, first and foremost, always start out by being honest. And the honest answer is with this proposal, it's not going to fix the dairy industry overnight. Uh, milk producers are not going to see an increase in the value of their milk checks overnight. I want to be very upfront about that and saying that we completely recognize that and appreciate that. Uh, but overall, the state needs to make this long-term investment. We are America's dairy land. We have world-renowned universities and research institutions. We need to figure out how to add value to something that we are already very, very good at doing. When we talk to local economic development people, they will often tell us that what they find is they're better off to focus on businesses that they already have as opposed to going out and trying to attract new businesses. The state of Wisconsin our dairy sector is strong. Our farmers are amongst the best in the world. They probably are the best in the world in terms of efficiency and what they do. And it's our responsibility to make sure as a state that we continue to invest in that industry and look for ways to add value to what they already do. So with that said, I would also uh, like to thank my colleagues that are here because unfortunately, uh, this is going to be a, 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 a challenging lift, and we, we need the support of our legislative colleagues, and we also need the support of our governor. Uh, we can't overemphasize the importance of ag to our overall state economy, but again, since only 2% of people are actually farming, it becomes a challenge. So your presence here is appreciated, and we certainly would appreciate it as we move forward that you contact your legislators and contact the governor and make sure that they're aware of how important this issue is. I'd like, now like to introduce Amy Penterman from Thorpe. Uh, Amy is a uh, dairy farmer. Uh, she's a member of the Dairy Task Force 2.0 and also a board member of the Dairy Business Association. Amy? Thank you. First off, I want to thank Senator Markline and Representative Trannell for introducing this bill. Um, being a dairy farmer, I'm in Clark County. Uh, my husband is an immigrant from the Netherlands. He moved to Wisconsin because of our dairy expertise and what Wisconsin dairy brings to the world. And uh, we milk 850 cows. I have five children, my oldest 20, my youngest being four. We've got a lot of generations that we wanna keep on the farm and that um, want a future. And our farm has used the universities for different research purposes and as dairy has been a struggle for the last five years, uh, we this is not going to be an immediate change, but this is going to give some future, and this is our state investing in our businesses. And any business that's out there, you want to do better. You don't want to stay the same. You want to grow. You want to innovate. And in order for us to stay, um, to be, remain the leaders, we have to invest in our future. And I just want to thank you for the bill and, um, and look forward to the support from everyone. I'd now like to introduce uh, three representatives from uh, the campuses that would uh, house the uh, Dairy Innovation Hub. First of all, from UW-Madison College of Ag and Life Sciences, Dean and Director, Dr. Kate Vandenbosch. Thank you, Senator Markline. Uh, good morning, everyone. There's no need to repeat the dire statistics that, about the economic hardships Wisconsin dairy farmers are facing today and which Senator Markline and uh, Representative Trannell introduced us to. But as Dean is the college, Dean of the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences at UW-Madison, I would like to say how much my colleagues and I would like to see these trends reversed and uh, for us to work to help to contribute to that development. Wisconsin became America's dairy land because of a partnership between the state, led by then Governor W.D. Horde, Wisconsin's early dairy farm, early farmers and the scientists at UW-Madison. I like to think of this very early public-private partnership as a clear example of the positive change that we can make when we work together. More than a century later, our research still focuses on strengthening Wisconsin's dairy industry. We research so much more than the efficient production of milk. We focus on every aspect of farm management and consumer product development as well. Research can identify new ways to protect our watersheds, develop new decision-making tools for producers to make farm management decisions easily and quickly, 
and confidently, and also to generate food products that appeal to future gen de generations of dairy consumers. We're grateful for the bill's sponsors and would like to thank Senator Markline and Representative Trannell for taking the lead on such an important issues. This reinvestment will allow the schools within the UW, UW system to train current and future industry leaders to continue to develop new solutions and to transfer new knowledge to farms, processing plant plants, fields and beyond. We look forward to seeing the, the Wisconsin Dairy Innovation Hub become a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean Vandenbosch. Next up, uh, we'll have uh, Dr. Wayne Weber, Dean of the UW Platteville College of Business, Life Sciences, and agriculture. Thank you, Senator, and thank you everybody for coming. And I do want to uh, reach out and, and thank Senator Markline and Representative Trammell for putting this bill into into action, and also my colleagues at the other universities, Dean Vandenbosch, Dean Gallenberg, um, and also the. Dairy Business Association, the Wisconsin Dairy Task Force, all these for help making this happen. So why the Dairy Innovation Hub? And, and this has been talked a little bit about already. You know, we know that agriculture is an $88.3 billion industry here in Wisconsin. And we know that the major chunk of that is dairy at $43.4 billion. We also know, as has already been stated, that the dairy industry is changing dramatically. And the Dairy Innovation Hub is a collaborative opportunity to position Wisconsin to meet the industry challenges of today and tomorrow through corporate partnerships, research and development, and through developing the future leaders in the dairy industry. So how does this help UW system and specifically, in our case, UW Platteville, serve the dairy industry in the state? Well, we feel as an institution we're strategically positioned for this initiative with almost 700 uh, agriculture students, a successful animal science and dairy science program, branch campuses that increases our footprint across the state, strong relationships with producers and industry, and significant resource in Pioneer Farm that is a living and learning laboratory that is already a platform for hands-on experiential learning and impactful research. So what this initiative does is it brings us to a whole new level in providing faculty, staff, and resources so that we can provide the state cutting edge research and significantly greater learning opportunities for students these would include things such as small ruminant production, expansion of our edge of field grounded water monitoring that are central to sustainability, utilizing robotics versus conventional milking operations, grazing herd versus conventional dairy herd, animal health and welfare, welfare that was already mentioned, use of dairy byproducts for nutritional supplementation, data analytics, and also given the dynamics of our university, Leveraging our excellent resource of Pioneer Farm and our excellent programs in engineering, agriculture, and industrial studies to develop the smart farm concept to be a model for the state and the region. Other research areas include non-food uses, new and unique dairy products, and niche products. And this will allow us to continue to develop a skilled and tech-savvy workforce. One thing that we're known for is applied agriculture programs that emphasize that hands-on experiential learning. And so, so through the increased resources and research, this will significantly expand these types of opportunities for our students contributing directly to the agriculture workforce of the state. Finally, in closing, the Dairy Innovation Hub is a cost-effective proposal that will have a massive impact on the state and the dairy industry. Thank you. And next up from uh, UW River Falls, Dr. Dale Gallenberg. Uh, Dr. Gallenberg is the Dean of the UW River Falls College of Agriculture, Food, and Environmental Sciences. Thank you, Senator. Um, it would be terribly uh, efficient for me right now to simply say ditto to <laughs> my uh, colleagues, but I will emphasize a, a couple of points. Um, an appreciation for collaboration. Uh, this is truly a collaborative project. The development of the Innovation Hub idea to this point 
represents collaboration across the university system, across the industry, uh, across producer groups. Uh, folks want this to happen, and, and it truly is collaboration. Um, the idea is about adding capacity, uh, breadth, and depth to what we, what we do. Uh, the four areas of emphasis are key within the industry. Uh, as Senator mentioned, this is not about more production, it's about adding value to the production we have and taking care of our, taking care of our environment in ways that we know we can and, and should. Um, we talk about the, the size of the dairy industry in Wisconsin, and the number is significant, but what's more significant, I think, is the spread of that industry across the state. Uh, it's not just concentrated in one or two places across Wisconsin. Dairy is Wisconsin. It's a statewide industry with statewide challenges and we believe statewide opportunities. And those will be, the, the challenges will be addressed, the opportunities will be seized because of the collaborative nature of this, this program. Um, Dr. Weber mentioned the role that institutions like Platteville, like River Falls have, particularly in the pipeline of talent. Uh, certainly Madison participates here as well. Uh, so part of the emphasis moving forward is not just what we can do in the laboratory, but ensuring we're doing the right things, the best, best things in the classroom, outside of the classroom, and giving our uh, undergraduate and graduate student students the right experiences to keep the talent pool where it needs to be with respect to the dairy industry and the ag industry overall in in Wisconsin so this is certainly about research but it's about more than just research and, and what it takes to be an impactful uh, research uh, uh, center so um, Again, appreciate the collaboration, appreciate the bill sponsors, the development to this point, um, and the support that will continue to hopefully bring this to reality. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Gallenberg. There are many other stakeholders and university leaders in the room with us today who have played a role in this legislation and I encourage you to connect with them to discuss the Dairy Innovation Hub. Again, thank you for joining us today as we roll out the Dairy Innovation Hub bill. Are there any questions? Yes. Uh, where will the 70.9 million annually uh, come from? Uh, GPR. Any other questions? Great. Thank you.